Look at me! I've got green hair! It's my new wig. I'm like in love with it. It's very strange because I've never worn a wig in my life, so it like feels weird, but it looks really cool. So I decided to start a weekend vlog because I haven't done one of those in a really long time and I was like, let's do this. So as you can see, we're having our typical morning spread. We're gonna have some orange juice. Rodrigo, say hi. Hi. He's making some Dalgona coffee and I have hummus and I have cream cheese and I have butter and I have um, marmalade that Rodrigo made and we have our favorite bread which is here in this little um, cloth basket. But, you know, this is a reading channel so what the heck am I reading this weekend? I'm reading Rosewater by Tate Thompson and I am so excited to read it and I will update you when there's anything to update you about. Bye! It's me again. I haven't read anything yet. But, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I just realized that I'm going on vacation this, not this weekend, clearly, because it's the weekend, but next weekend. That means I need to film, edit, and upload, and schedule, and all that jazz, six freaking videos. Well, I only need, well, this is one, so that's one. Uh, I already have one uh, ready to go, so that's two. So I just need to film one, two, three, four. So I'm going to get to do that now. Uh, I'm just going to film four videos and then I'm going to like edit them throughout the week and uh, today and tomorrow and just get it all done because I'm organized like that. It, like honestly, if you wonder how I get videos up consistently, this is why. I pre-film videos and I make sure <laughs> that I have them up for you scheduled because if not, I just could not. Between work, life, balance, everything, it would just be impossible. So yeah, I'm going to do that, then I'm going to read, then I'm going to update you about what I'm reading, which you already know, but yeah, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Hi, it's me again and I'm in my very messy bedroom. And I am on page 100, okay, I'm on page 98, 98 of Rosewater. So far, it's really confusing, not gonna lie. Uh, I think I have been doing a lot of sci-fi reading, so I'm kind of starting to get my worlds confused, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit confusing. I, I kind of get the basic notion of what's going on, but I'm a little bit lost, which is okay. That does tend to happen with sci-fi. And I'm guessing that I'm gonna get unlost <laughs> soon. But I'm gonna take a nap now because I really want a nap and chocolate. Oh, that was a good nap. I took like a two hour nap. It was so good. I feel so good right now. <laughs> but um, one reason I don't feel good is that I've been trying to look for more non-fiction nature writing books by, um, is it BIPOC? I, I, I'm not sure if it's BIPOC or by POC. I think it's BIPOC. I'll, I'll put the acronym here anyway, in case you're interested. It's Black Indigenous People of Color. Anyway, um, I've been looking for more books, for more nature books about that, and specifically focusing on animals because I realized that the nature style of books that I like reading are about animals, like um, Born Free by Joy Adamson, or Spying on Whales, or you know, <laughs> that um, The Soul of an Octopus, that kind of um, stuff. And the surprising amount of work I've had to do to find these books has me in such a like rage right now. I'm like so angry because I know there are BIPOC writers out there. I know that they exist. I know they are naturalists. I, my best friend is a freaking uh, biologist. Why is it so hard to find these books? or get these books published and then the books I do find are all based on North America and I'm like so there's nobody out there writing in the world and also there's nobody out there 
translating work. Mm, oh, that's a video all on its own, I promise you. <sighs> I'm just so disappointed. And if and if you're thinking, Monica, why don't you just go look for these books in Spanish and read them in Spanish? Well, my baby darlings, I could and I would, except that English is kind of the language that permeates the world. Like once you're published in English, it's like you've made it. And I also want to recommend these books to you, you know? And since English is the is the second most um it's the first most spoken language as a second language. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but basically English is the most spoken second language out there. That means that when your book gets translated to English, it reaches more people. Um, it just, it just, in, just in case you're curious, Chinese is the first, first spoken language, mother tongue. Uh, the second is Spanish and the third is English. But as a second language, English is the ruler of the kingdom per se and we're not even going to get into that because that's a that's a video again all on its own but i'm just kind of angry because i just feel like again it's that thing of why why are native americans not being represented why are their books not good enough and i know that nature writing isn't for everyone and, and stuff like that but it just it just pisses me off and and, and 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 it it just pisses me the fuck off sorry about that I had to change out my not my battery because now i've got a bunch of batteries but my um thingy where you store the video <laughs> i'm still sleepy but anyway tomorrow rodrigo and i are going to a bookstore and i'm just heading straight to the latin american section of the bookstore um, or the non-fiction section and hope they have a Latin American section there because of course I live in Spain so we, we will be most likely there and yeah I'm gonna see what I can find uh, just perusing so that's for tomorrow I'll take you along with me for today haven't read anymore gonna read after lunch and update you on Rosewater I think now that I'm more awake I get it more <laughs> because when I was like sleepy, I was like, when is even happening? <laughs> but I, I get it. Apparently, there is this biodome thing that landed or like it, it's just there on Earth. I'm not sure. And then there's some people that have um, psychic abilities. So like they can read minds and stuff like that. And they, they use these people for certain things. And this biodome apparently can heal people like for example if you've got hiv if you've got cancer or even revive them but i'm not sure if everyone the biodome revives revives kind of like a zombie or if like some people revive like a zombie and the rest of the people are just normal so i don't know I, i'm gonna have to keep reading uh but i do know that there are some zombie people and Apparently someone went into bio, the, the biodome once. I'm not sure. And also they say that the people that have this psychic ability is actually an alien ability that they got through like spores from aliens. That sounds pretty fucking cool if you ask me. But yeah. I, also, I just, I love that this is set in Nigeria. Yes, Nigeria. This is set in Nigeria, and I love that they use like the Nigerian names and everything. It's so so nice. It's so refreshing not to read about the U.S. because as much as we all love the U.S., I'm kind of tired of hearing about y'all. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go have lunch and then I'm gonna read. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back and I'm about. 50% through the, this book. I'm about, well, I would say about 45%. I'm on page 183 of uh, 390. So you do the math. I don't math. I'm liking the writing, but here's the thing. I didn't realize what kind of sci-fi this was, and this is kind of like a murder mystery-ish sci-fi. It's more like a whodunit government kind of situation than a, a like so i'm gonna be honest i'm not digging this book as much as i wanted to dig it i'm still i'm gonna finish it because i really want to finish it 
but um it's not my kind of book. It's a really good book, but it's not my kind of book. I thought this was gonna be eco-fiction. That's the thing. I thought this was gonna be eco-fiction. And it's like the furthest thing from eco-fiction possible. Like, <laughs> it's not. That's my own fault. That's not the book's fault. That's my own fault. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get to 50% and I'm just... I'm gonna finish it this weekend because... I have like a strict timeline of book of like finishing books. <laughs> I'm, I'm like that. I'm that kind of person uh, so that I can uh, finish the books that I want to read this month. But, but with, by the way, let, let's take a thumbnail now. But let me show you the books that I have to read this weekend. Well, they're not that I have to. Not this weekend. The rest of the month. Which, whoo, got dark. I'm actually traveling a lot this month. We're taking an adventure trip where we're sleeping in our car and everything. I'm so excited. But here are the books that I have left. I have Fresh Water by Akweki Emezi. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to get to this one uh, because I have other books. But this is like my bonus book. And then I have Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera, which I've heard... Not the best things. Oh, shoot. Sorry, I've been like covering the microphone. I've got um, uh, Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera, which I have uh, actually not heard a single person talk, like say good things about this one. Then I have Who Fears Death by Nnedi Okorafor. Now, I wonder if this is going to be the same like the one that I'm reading now, now that I think about it. And then finally we have How to Be a Good Creature by Simon Montgomery. I think I'm taking these three on our trip because it's like a five hour drive and I'm not the one driving, my husband is, so I'm taking the audiobooks for that. So yeah, maybe I will finish this. I really want to read Ocean's End by Marja Lund. I really want to read that, but you know, there are so many, there are only, oh, you haven't seen kitties in a while. There are only so many hours in the day and this book is kind of putting me in a slump. Rosewater is, which I feel bad about because I was so excited about that book. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll like start loving it after a while. <laughs> also, can we appreciate my face and I've got two pimples and just... This is what you see is what you get, ladies and gentlemen. So, after about zero deliberation, we decided we're going to go to the... Um, uh, mall today and we're gonna go to the bookstore and I'm so pumped oh my god which is great because you're gonna see a video coming up about how shit it is that I'm going to the bookstore now but I just wanted to show you my really simple outfit I'm just wearing this dress I'm not even wearing like a bra with it <laughs> I'm so I'm so over everything but it's a cute dress and it's cotton and it's so hot it's so hot outside um, that I just want to get out of this house and do something. So we're going to go to the bookstore and I'm taking you with me. Yay. Also, I got to 50% of rose water. It's not that I'm not liking the book. It's just that it's not the book that I wanted it to be. You know, the, it's not you, it's me thing. We're having that. But I'm going to finish it tonight because I only have about two and a half hours left of it and I can do that in one night and that way we can move on to other things. Rodrigo, come say hi to the camera. Nobody has seen you. Hi, There's super sushi. Camera. <laughs> hi, super camera. Look at, look at the size difference, look. <laughs> if you can see me in frame. <laughs> so anyway, and then we have a cat which I am very angry at. She has been a bad, bad girl. What did you do today? Tell the audience what you did. Yeah. <laughs> Were you eating your sister's puke? Um, yes. Yeah. It's true though, she was. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm getting text messages on my WhatsApp. And I'm going to answer those. I'm going to put on some makeup. And I'll take you to the store with me when we're done. I'm obviously going to wear shoes too. Cause, and a mask. So I don't know why I'm putting makeup on, but you know, it's a thing. <laughs> and here we have the finished product of how I'm going out today. Really nothing special. The oldest shoes in my closet. They're disgusting and I love them. And then the dress, right? 
I'm not, I decided not to put any makeup on. I'm going to put a mask on over it anyway, so whatever. I also kind of think I look cute, except for those two. But guess what? That's going to be covered by a mask. And then this um, little pendant I got for Christmas from my husband that it says M and R, which are our initials. And in the back it says everything's going to be all right. And I love it. And that's pretty much it. We're going out. I'll take you with me. Let's go on adventure. everyone it's now Sunday I don't know oh I've got a clock that tells me now it's Sunday the 19th of July I can't believe it's July and oh I'm so happy it's almost August but anyway I wanted to do a little haul of the things because yesterday we spent hours and hours at the mall the reason we spent there so long was simply because it has air conditioning <laughs> <laughs> right now it's really hot in Spain so we just walked around um, I am on a book buying band you're gonna see a video about that um, after this video but uh, my husband bought me with his money to with his like money it's, it's all our money I just sounds weird to say his money but basically I can't buy anything for myself so he decided that he was gonna gift me two little things so I'm gonna show you one of them I actually did buy for myself which is uh, the face mask because I lost my mask. I don't know where it is and I love this one because it's black and it says fucking virus on it So that's fun. And then I got here Ubuntu uh, This was written by Manji Ingomane I don't know how to say that and it was uh, a, There's a prologue book prologue by Desmond Tutu and this is Ubuntu is lessons of African wis uh, wisdom to live better and I thought that that was so cool like that's such an amazing idea and we talk about Hugga so much and everything and I just thought that the idea of, of Ubuntu was amazing so my husband got that one for me and then he also got me The Drowned World by J.G. Ballard um, Connor from Connor Stampanato was raving about this and well I was in love so there you go so these are the last two books that will be going on my bookshelf on my TBR let's put it up you're also gonna see a TBR um, but it's not gonna include these books because they're new and I didn't think that I was gonna include any more new books of course I do think that people are gonna gift me books but I just didn't think that it would happen so soon. There we go. Now we're just going to have some breakfast in our very dirty table. This is bread, by the way. And we're going to, I'm going to finish rose water. That's what I'm going to do. 
So this is what we're working with with my room right now. It doesn't look that bad. Um, this is just some stuff that we need to put away. I don't know why my husband insists on putting this his slippers here. We're not even going to go into his painting area because that gives me anxiety. But, you know, he needs it. And here's my, like, vanity area. And as you can see, there's a bunch of hairs on it because I was dealing with my wig. And here's my meds that I have to put in here. So basically, I'm going to, before I lay down to finish rose water, which is right here, I'm going to clean up a little bit because, oh... That's our laundry. Why is our laundry basket in here and not out here? I don't know. I mean, everything's a mess. Well, not everything. And I'm going to make the bed and all of that. So I'll have a nice spot. And I promise that I'm going to finish this thing this morning. And excuse the sniffling. I'm not going to try to edit all my sniffling out like I usually do because basically... Allergies happen. I sniffle. So, we are going to the supermarket. I'm wearing, of course, my fucking virus face mask. Some linen pants. Some shoes. And then this, like, shirt that I tied up, I feel looks kind of Star Wars-y. And just the bag. We're just going real quick to get some things. And we'll be right back. I am, by the way, an hour and a half, I can't, hang on, I am an hour and a half from finishing rose water, which I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I almost DNF'd it because I don't want to finish it, but then I was like, it's just an hour and a half, and again, the book is not bad, it's just not the book for me, but I'm going to finish it, so, see you soon. Okay. So we're back, and I did a thing. So as you guys know, I'm kind of known for having gray hair, but I'm not feeling it at the moment. And I was thinking after getting that green wig, which you will see in another video, why don't I just dye my hair green with a uh, like one of these non-permanent hair colors that'll just wash out? And if it doesn't wash out, that's fine. You know what? Hair grows and sometimes you just need a change. So I'm actually going to color my hair right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I've got this shit on my head. Gotta wait 30 minutes and see how it's going to come out. I don't know how it's going to come out. I think it's going to look really good with the wig. And if anything, I did buy a demi-permanent color to put on my hair if this turns out to be a mess. Did I just like spin you and make you crazy? Woo! I am actually really excited about this, so <laughs> see you in 30 minutes. Hi! So this is the result of the green dye over my gray hair and not gonna lie kind of loving it. I actually got ready because I'm going to film a video right now and I'm going to take this moment to bid adieu to this uh, weekend vlog. I finished Rosewater. I gave it 3.5 stars. It was a really good book. It was just not my book. It was not the book for me. I thought it was going to be something that it wasn't. Therefore, my expectations were all over the place and I was very confused. But if you like kind of that police drama with some sci-fi elements thrown in and maybe alien invasion kind of stuff, the book is definitely for you. I definitely liked the book. It was just, like I said, it's like not what I was expecting it to be. So, you know. So it goes. I love that the upcoming videos, you're just gonna see so many versions of my hair. It's not even funny. I've got the like normal whites. I've got the green whites. I've got the wig. I've got like, <laughs> it's gonna be a mess on my channel for a while. But anyway, I wanna get this video up tomorrow, which is Monday the 18th. So I'm gonna bid you adieu with a friendly reminder that I post every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And also, 
next weekend I'm taking a trip we're taking a crazy trip where we're gonna like sleep in our car it's gonna be like a little adventure to the beach and I'm gonna bring you along with me so like the videos you're gonna see in the next two weeks are pre-filmed because I use the weekend to, to film so that you know during the week I can work and not die so <laughs> yeah anyway without any further ado I bid you adieu I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend vlog and I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.